Hey everyone, I know it's been a little while since I uh, created one of these, but thought it'd be a good topic today. Something I've actually been wanting to do for a little bit is uh, serializing and deserializing JSON into uh, .NET objects. So um, I guess the first point is that this isn't something you want to find reasons to use, more of it's just a, if you've got something and you know you've got a JSON, this is an easy way to work with JSONs in .NET. Uh, whether that's ASP or uh, to do a REST service or WCF or something else entirely. Um, so uh, what I'm going to be using is Newton, Newton Softs, Newton Softs, Newton Soft, Newton Soft dot JSON. Uh, there's ways to do it built into .NET. I've just found that Newton Softs is a little bit easier, um, specifically for the things that I do most often, um, and I like. Uh, just some of the extra documentation on it compared to the MSDN stuff for the built-in .NET uh, JSON handling. Um, so to get it, just go to uh, GitHub or Google or uh, newtonsoft.json. You'll see I'm using it in the new Edge browser um, for no other reason than eh, I just felt like it changed today. Um, so there we have that. Um, once you have Newtonsoft's JSON installed um, or just a copy of the DLL, um, go ahead and add it to a reference. So I've got my reference to it right there. And then in the code, I also um, am using Newton Soft. Um, so you don't have to do that, obviously, but um, it might make it easier. Um, once you've done that, um, I'd say next thing to do is kind of go ahead and scope out what it is you need to do with your JSON. Um, what I want to do is I want to uh, deserialize mine into a .NET class. So I've got over here your person class, um, kind of a classic example, just doing a person. Um, and then I've got um, a JSON that I want to correspond essentially to that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go back into my Edge browser, and there's all sorts of different JSON validation tools on the net. Um, this is just the first one I found today. Um, there's other ones as well. Um, so I can just validate that the JSON that I'm going to be looking at is valid right there. Okay. Next, going to have a win form for this, uh, just to kind of prove everything. If you want to follow along, um, go ahead and recreate this control here. I've got a five text box uh, called txt json, txt first name, txt last name, txt email, and txt phone. I have a list box called lst friends, two buttons, one called btn2 class, and one called uh, button one. Forgot to rename that one apparently. Um, so if you want to take a second to pause the video just to be on the same page as I am right now if you are going to follow around along. Um, otherwise I'm going to go ahead and move on. Okay. So in my BTN2 class I'm going to start off just by declaring a string that I'm going to use, which is going to be, uh, we're going to call it string JSON, and it's going to be whatever we type into my txt JSON text box. Okay, I'm also going to have a person, Adam. And if you want to reference the person class, here it is right here real quick. Um, just class, person, public string, first name, last name, height, even though height probably should be something else, but in case it came in as, you know, uh, 5 foot 11 instead of just 5 foot or 5 or 6. Um, and then I've got a public list friends and a public dictionary of string string contact.
Okay, so here's where we actually are going to do the first part with the uh, JSON uh, deserialization or serialization. Um, so uh, Newtonsoft used to have methods for dot deserialize and then again for dot serialize. It looks like they've changed that out in the current version that I'm using, the 7.01 I think it is, for a dot populate method. Uh, which actually makes it a little bit easier to figure out what you want to do versus what it's doing. So we're going to go ahead and use newtonsoft.json.jsonconvert.populate object where we pass in both the string that we want to uh, deserialize and the object we want to serialize it into, so into Atom. Okay. And just as a proof of concept, what we've got right now, so I've still got that um, JSON that I showed off earlier, validated it earlier, just on my clipboard, but I'm going to go ahead and do um, just a message box. just to kind of validate that it's functioning as we expect at this point, uh, which it should, just because we know we've got a valid JSON that we're going to copy into it. Um, so here we go. We're going to paste that in there, and then we're going to decode it. And there we go. We've got, uh, just like that, Adam. Okay. Okay. And the rest of it really is going to be basically the same thing from here for the uh, decoding the JSON or deserializing the JSON. Um, so I've actually got this already typed up that I'm going to reuse here. Okay, and we got that pasted in, pasted in, and we'll go ahead and run the program again just to see exactly what it does do here. So over here we added, uh, we replaced the message box with just populating the txt first name, last name, email and phone. Um, and then we also loop through um, that dictionary in the JSON um, to populate uh, that list box. So there we go. Paste that JSON into there again, and then we're going to go ahead and decode the JSON again. So there we go. Worked exactly as we wanted. A um, couple notes is with the dictionary, there is a few different ways that you can do um, arrays in a dictionary. And uh, I actually specifically did want to cover that just a little bit. Um, so the friends actually is the list. Um, whereas the contact information is our dictionary. So with a list, um, you're going to see the list look... I yeah, will keep this specific. You're going to see your list look like... this. Um, and then if you wanted to add a dictionary after that, dictionaries are actually really nice because they're kind of like a, a key pair um, in both JSON and .NET. So um, we can do There you go, and your dictionary essentially is going to look like that. Uh, so a real easy way to kind of see what I was doing with my contact and friends in the person class. Okay, um, so now I actually want to go the other way a little bit. Um, so we're already deserializing a JSON and then serializing it into a .NET class. Um, and 
You can work directly with the JSON as well, where instead of populating it into a class, you can just iterate through that string using both the .NET JSON libraries and also the Newtonsoft one. Um, but I don't know that you would ever be getting a lot of data and not need to store it at least short term, so I just am in the habit of putting everything directly into a class that's useful to me, or at the very least into uh, some sort of object in its entirety so that I'm not having to uh, constantly send and repeat and uh, store additional stuff. Um, so I'm going to skip a lot of the typing, but I'll go through this real quick on what I need for my uh, putting everything back uh, from the object into a JSON. Um, so here I've created a person, return person, again. Um, I've got uh, return person dot first name, last name, um, and then I'm going to manually add to my contact dictionary two items. Uh, I've got phone, email. Oh, I actually added a third. So I've got uh, return person contact uh, instant messenger, and this is apparently for Yamada-san over at provider dot edu, um, and then. I'm being really lazy again, so I'm going to everything that's already in the friends list just loop through and add that back in. And here I've got my form again, and I'm going to copy and paste my same JSON in there just so that I can have some friends. Um, and then let's change some names around. So this is Dale. Uh, or actually, maybe it should be Yamada. So. Uh, I don't have a good name for Mr. Yamada there, so uh, he'll be Sam. And he stole some email addresses and a phone number, um, and then he's got all the same friends. Um, so let's go ahead and create JSON, which we did right here. JSON equals newtonsoft.json.json.convert dot serialize object and then we passed in the return person which was the class that we had created of our person class okay so create JSON and here we go we get a nice text box with uh, a fully formed and valid JSON and as you can see all in all very little work wasn't bad at all and I hope it helps thanks